friends, um, welcome to Joyce African Kitchen again. This is where what we really want to do is to bring African food to the world. We just want people to appreciate how amazing this food is and the amount of nutrients and um, flavors that we have with African food. So we want you to start accepting it and enjoying it and just be part of what is going on. My name is Jafido and I'm going to bring you another exciting meal today. Okay, so the meal I'm making now is a vegetable sauce. Um, vegetable sauce, the, the, the ingredients behind it is going to be a goosey again, which we call the melon or the pumpkin seed. The Vegetable will overpower the the egusi. That's the only unique thing about it because we've done egusi soup earlier. Um, in one of our other videos, we're gonna put the link for you to see how it's done. So all the ingredients are still the same. The only thing that's different is the vegetable, the type of vegetable, and the quantity we're gonna be using. Okay, so this is the main vegetable we're talking about is a frozen frozen spinach now ideally when we're cooking this we take quite a few bags of them because we want to make it really really vegetable based and the goose will become really small not too much so that's the only unique thing that's different from our previous goose sauce okay so that's our garlic that's our onions that's our maggi which is the seasoning that's our scotch bonnet and that's our prawns or you can call them we, we sometimes we call it crawfish but usually crawfish will be a lot smaller than this so that's just dried spawn and prawns and then of course the spices to go with the rosemary um sage and then the next big thing is the palm oil which usually goes into our sauce and um, and that's just oh and I forgot to show you the melon or the goosey itself so what I've done now I've just put it in water I've washed it so I'm gonna just put everything here garlic um was um onions and the scotch and I'll just put them all in the blender with the goosey and I just blend it now for this particular kind of soup, it would have been better if I had gone with a dry egusi. That one is pre-blended, so it's blended dry, it's not added with water. And that would have made my soup a lot easier, but we didn't find that, so we're just working with this. And it still would not make too much difference. So the palm oil goes in. And then pour in your blended egusi and the rest of the items. Now for this particular soup, we really don't need water at all. So that's why I dry the goosey would have been fine. Okay, so we're gonna just add a, um, our, some of our spices. This is um, rosemary. bit of sage some salt our seasoning and then you stir everything up So 
So you give it about three minutes to cook this all out, really cook out the water because we really want it to be really dry. See how the pot is really showing. So now we introduce the meat. Again, this meat is a combination of different types. There's what we call shake, which is the skin or intestine. Yes, that's what they call tripe as well. And then there's the skin, which is that one. And then there's the main beef, which is that. So it's just a combination and. In Nigeria, they will say to you assorted meat, so just different types of meat. Okay, you might just think this person loves meat. Yes, my husband does love meat. I'm not a huge fan, meat fan. I prefer fish. But yeah, so you could have cooked this with fish as well if you wanted. Only with this type of vegetable, more vegetable, there's going to be a lot of stirring to get the sauce to mix well with the vegetable. So if you're using fish for this, you would need to remove the fish before you stir all the vegetable in and then introduce the fish later. But that'll probably be a video for another day. So it's all stirred then now we allow this to cook to blend the meat and the sauce together okay so i'm ready to introduce the leaf so i just cut it and then i stir Everything is all blended together. On the whole, about five minutes, five to six minutes, allow it to really cook well, which is what I've done. So leaves ready, and then I just put it straight in. Now, when you get these leaves, they are completely frozen, so um, they're not usually as easy as you've seen it just dropping apart. Um, we bought it uh, earlier in the day and we just left it out open. We didn't leave it in the freezer. So that's why they are easy to separate. But I actually do enjoy when they are frozen because all the, all the water in the frozen state becomes the water that goes into the pot. So that's what introduces the water and remember um this leaves got a lot of nutrients in it um, spinach it's got lots of iron and potassium and all kinds of things so that water actually does help bring the nutrients in but when you defrost it you lose the water and so i've just introduced the second bag as well now I'm going to take my time and stir all the vegetables really into the pot. So the whole idea is more vegetable than anything else ideally. But we do have a lot of meat in this soon. The, the idea is if you're young, you know, young adults who really are not used to cooking, um, they struggle to manage a kitchen. Now when you're cooking, what you do once the pot is doing its own thing, food is cooking, come around and just clear up all the dishes. Just clear up anything you've used in cooking. Don't just leave them hanging there because I see lots of young people do that. When my kids cook, you go into the kitchen and it's in a state because they don't understand that they need to clean up immediately as they are cooking. So that's what I do. When I'm cooking, I'm in the kitchen. And so I cook and clean at the same time. So you don't say, oh, okay, I finished eating, then I, I clean. By that time, you're really tired and you won't be able to really manage it. 
So while you're still in the kitchen, just concentrate, clear up everything, clean up everywhere, and that's it, done. So you see, by the time I'm done here, everywhere will be clean. Okay, so that's it, we're done with it. Um, you can see all the vegetables there. You just there. You can see them. Remember, you could have put anything dried fish, stock fish, fresh fish, meat, chicken. So, there you have it African dishes, African sauces, African soups, whatever you prefer to call it is fine. But the whole idea for us is we want you to start trying out these dishes and enjoy them. Um, we love eating these dishes. And remember what they say, if you eat healthy, you become healthy. There's another saying that says, um, uh, if you don't eat your, you should eat your food. How do they say? They say, your food, make your food your medicine. That means if you eat healthy food, that's already curing you. Now, if you don't make your food your medicine, you end up making your medicine your food. So you end up eating medicine, which lots of people do. If you see the amount of tablets you have to drink in a day, touch wood, I haven't seen a doctor for the past, I think 15 years or, I'll say 11 years because that's when I was in hospital having my son, but since then I haven't seen a doctor for any ailment. Thank God because I watch what I eat. So if you eat healthy, your body stays healthy. So, we love to hear from you. If you have any questions at all about African dishes, please feel free text us. I mean, not text, but send messages down below. Um, email us. You know our email address, info at worldofreading.com. Now, follow us on all of our channels. We are on Instagram. We are on YouTube, which is where you're watching. Um, we are on Facebook as well. Uh, Facebook, I don't know if... I, I call it NutriLife. So Neutral Life is on Facebook, Neutral Life is on Instagram, um, and then World of Reading contains everything else. So we'd like to see you in our next video where we'll bring you another beautiful meal from Africa. Stay blessed and we love you. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you love this. Um, subscribe because there's so much more coming your way. Share this with your friends, especially you young ones, because you want to know how to do these things and have a healthy life. Stay blessed. God bless you.